Hey guys, it's Nurse Gwenny. Let's talk endocrinology today, specifically diabetes insipidus and its opposite, SIADH. So both of these pathologies have to do with ADH or antidiuretic hormone. Break that down and think about what that means. Anti means we're not doing it. Diuresis, getting rid of fluids or peeing it out. Hormone, that's a, a chemical mediator to make a process happen. So uh, when we have diabetes insipidus, we either have a lack of ADH or our body isn't responding to the ADH or our kidneys aren't responding to the ADH that we're making. And we call that nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. So if we don't have enough anti-pee hormone, what are we doing? We're peeing all of our liquid out, right? Now the opposite, SIADH or syndrome of inappropriate, it's really just too much, anti-diuretic hormone. If we're doing too much of that, what are we doing? If we're anti-peeing, we're hanging on to all of those fluids. So when I was in med surge, one bazillion years ago in nursing school, I had these note cards where I had diabetes insipidus and SIADH written down and I had, okay, and this one, uh, serum osmolality is this and urine osmolality is that and your sodium level is gonna be, and I memorized all of these arrows. Well, rote memorization is not a great way to integrate information into your brain. We are poor recallers of rote memorized information. Instead, I want you to understand these concepts so you can walk yourself to the correct answer. Whether it's you're sitting in front of a test, if you're preparing for your NCLEX, or you're taking care of the patient in front of you. So just understand these concepts. So in diabetes insipidus, we're not responding or we don't have the ADH, so we are getting rid of all of our fluids. So what's that going to do to all of our serum values. It's going to hemoconcentrate everything. So we're going to have really high sodium levels. If we're peeing out a whole bunch of volume, what's going to be the problem with our urine osmolality? It's going to be super low. It's going to be very dilute. We're going to have the opposite problem when we're talking about SIADH. If we're hanging on to all of our fluids instead of peeing it all out or diuresing it, what's going to have to happen to our serum sodium? Yep, you guessed it. It's going to be diluted. We're going to have a hemodilution problem where we have way too much volume, which is going to give us a critically low serum sodium. And what are we going to see with those patients? Yeah, we're going to see neuro changes. So altered LOC, you might even see seizures or coma. So uh, instead of memorizing things, just understand those concepts. And I promise you, medicine will be so much easier to understand. So if you're seeing this video, send it to the nursing students that you know to help them understand these endocrinology pathologies.